I'm Bryn, if we're just meeting, and this is my dog Cody, who likes to come into the videos from time to time. I'm here to share just a little bit about restorative practice and then to take you through setting up one pose that you could do on your own. And restorative practice is, we can think of it as closer to a meditative practice versus a movement practice. At its essence, it's the idea of releasing a sense of doing and coming into a sense of being. It's permission to rest, which if we think about it, can be sort of a radical concept <laughs> these days. It can be hard uh, to think about getting over to rest and what that would mean and what that would look like. But it's so powerful when we do and we take those moments to speak to our nervous system to ground and downregulate and truly rest. We can then come back out to all of the doing and all of the striving and all of the change making that we want to do with more reserve so that we can do that in a way that's more effective and that feels more true to what we're trying to accomplish. So that being said, for restorative practice, we need a lot of props. And you might be thinking, oh, I'm not in the studio, I don't have a bolster, I don't have blocks, I don't have all these things. That's okay. You can make do with what you have. For the pose we're gonna look at today, I do have two blocks, but you could use stacks of books, you could use uh, even very sturdy pillows. Uh, for this practice, because you're gonna put some weight on it, water bottle is probably not the best, so something thick um, and sturdy that you can really hold on to. Um, even a stack of folded up towels will work. We're also gonna use one blanket that's rolled up like this, lengthwise. Again, if you don't have a blanket, um, you know, even from your bed or your couch or something you don't wanna use on the floor, that's okay. You could roll up towels. Um, beach towels are especially nice because they tend to be a little bit thicker. Just lay two or three of them together and roll them up. You could do the same with bath towels. Maybe you have extra cushy bath towels. And the last thing that you'll need is some kind of blanket or soft covering to go below you. I have this other kind of blanket like this. And again, you could use anything from your bed. You could even use your comforter, anything that feels cozy and comfortable to you. And then depending on the position of your head, once we get in, you might want a small pillow or even a sweatshirt or anything else that can support the back of the head. So let's take, let's take a look here. You also might want to have your cozy dog or pet. Um, only half kidding. Restorative really is about letting go and speaking to the nervous system, making yourself as comfortable and cozy as you want. So you might even choose to have an extra blanket or a sweatshirt to cover you. Your body temperature does tend to drop because these poses are held for such a long time, anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes per pose. Um, maybe starting, if you're newer, starting on the 10 or 15 minute end and then stretching out as you feel more comfortable. Um, you could also light a candle, favorite candle, um, play some soft music. I'm doing it in a very, sunny day and sunny area here, um, but you might also like to have an eye cover just to be able to let you drop in even more. So furry pets, definitely optional. So we'll start. You'll lay your pre-blanket down on the ground. I have my mat down here, but you don't need to. Just something to sort of give you an extra little bit of cushion. Then you'll take your rolled up blanket or towels or whatever it was that you found and you'll lay that so that you have a little bit of space on the pre-blanket. You may have to move your assistant. Good one, Cody. There we go, a little bit. And then you'll have either your blankets or your stacks of books or whatever you're using uh, for your blocks, I'm sorry, not blankets, blocks, or whatever you're using, your pillows, you'll have those near nearby you. Then you'll come to sit, and you'll sit right at the edge of your rolled object. So you're sitting on the pre-blanket here, and your tailbone is right up against that, that other bowl. Then you're going to lower yourself down, taking care, you can use your hands here to help you. You're going to come all the way down onto your back, or on top of your support animal. <laughs> then you'll take your, your blocks, your block-like objects, your little towels, whatever you have here. You're going to open your, your legs like a butterfly. 
So you're gonna put the soles of the feet together and let the knees come out wide. Then very important here, you're gonna put your objects on the sides of the legs here. And if, sometimes I like underneath the thigh, sometimes I prefer a little bit more underneath the calf and the thigh. You choose what feels most supportive. And you'll choose the height that feels right for you. For some of you who may be a little bit more open here, you might be able to have a lower object. Some of you who feel quite tight, you might even want a really high object. For me today, I'm gonna to compromise and go to the middle. So you're gonna get those in there. And the idea behind this prop here, supporting your legs, is that you can fully let go of conscious control of those muscles. It shouldn't feel like anywhere in the legs or the lower back are gripping. You should feel completely and totally supported here. If you're using blocks and you find the edge of the block a little bit pinchy on your skin, you could always drape a towel or some other kind of padding alongside. These are foam blocks I'm using, so they're fairly soft on the edges, but if you have like a wooden block, it might feel uncomfortable after a while. So you might consider that as well. And then you'll allow the head to be in a neutral position here. Here's where, depending on your towel and sort of the shape of your neck, you might want to pick the back of the head up a little bit on the pillow. So ideally when we're lying here, we want the head, crown of the head slightly higher than the chin. So we don't wanna be lying like this, where the chin is really lifted up. So we really wanna have that little bit of tuck of the chin. And if that's not possible for you without some extra padding, then you'll put a little pillow or a towel here underneath the back of the head. Then on to the arms. The arms will fall comfortably at your side, palms facing up towards the ceiling. They can maybe even also rest on the body if that's more comfortable. But you wanna make sure, again, that you don't feel like you're having to hold up your arms. So if this feels really uncomfortable, you can always place another rolled towel. I'll pretend this is a towel. Underneath the arm, you would want one here as well. So it would look something like this under your arms so that your arms are also fully, fully supported. If they're not supported and comfortable, just with you lying with them like this on the ground. For me, my chest and shoulders feel quite comfortable here. This isn't too high of an object for me. So I could stay right here, just like this. Once you find your comfortable position, you'll really allow yourself to settle in, allowing the eyes to close. You could also have that cover over you. If it doesn't feel safe to do that or to close the eyes, you could of course leave them open. Just soften your gaze a little bit. But you're really just trying to let yourself drop in and release. And again, you're looking to stay in between 10 and 20 minutes here. A little timer can help. When you are ready to come out, if you have your arms stacked, you can gently roll your arms down and then help your legs to come back together. So really use your hands to help and then make sure you've cleared your space and then you'll roll onto one side. You can even kind of roll off your stack. Stay on your side for a moment here. Just let everything catch up to your new position. And then you would gently make your way back up to sitting. So the other really important thing to know about restorative is that even though we are aiming for pretty minimal movement once you get the pose down, that really can only happen if you are truly, truly comfortable. So be very picky in the beginning. Even if it means you're sort of fidgeting around in the first few moments, really make sure that the pose is working for you. If you feel a little bit of uncomfortable, even like a wrinkle in the blanket, or like I said, the edge of a block, anything that feels like, mm, this isn't great, but I can tolerate it in the first minute, that's just gonna grow as you go on through the pose. And if there are that tugs, that little bits of sensation or uncomfortableness, your nervous system won't be able to fully let you drop. It's always looking to keep you safe. So if there's something that doesn't feel quite right, it's gonna remain at least partially alert. So the rest of you might be able to relax, but you won't really be able to drop in unless you're fully comfortable. So it'll really take all the time you need to make sure you can get there. And I hope that this was helpful. 
Um, even if you just carve out 10 minutes by yourself, maybe before you go to bed, do one pose every other day, even that has a powerful effect. I know it can be really hard to give ourselves time and permission to rest, and then it is such a privilege to do so. So recognizing that um, that may be hard to carve out. Um, making it work for you 10 minutes every few days, that's a great place to start. If you have a little bit longer and you want to hang out with us, we have two new classes starting. One is on Friday evenings. It's a mix of a little faster flow vinyasa into some restorative. And we also have another class with myself, which is every other Sunday, which is a very slow and laborious flow uh, for 30 minutes into 30 minutes of restorative. So that super sweet Sunday morning vibe. If you want to check either of those out, you can go to the Yoga Family website and read a little bit more. And hopefully we'll see you at one or both. All right, take care.